Hey y'all, so I'm here to do a quick and a collective reading for you. Please um, disregard the video quality. I'm using my other phone to record this. And also, um, please be aware that these messages, they may or may not resonate. So only take the messages if they resonate. And please excuse this raggedy nail. Okay, I gotta get them redone. But, <clears throat> so I had started y'all reading, but then my client came, I had to stop. So during the reading, what came out was the um, was the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands came out. So somebody here, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with. They're overstressed. They're overburdened. They feel like they have like an overwhelming amount of responsibilities or a lot of things coming at them at once. So then when I was continuing, I got the Lovers, which is here right now, and then the Moon. So I don't know if somebody is like, because the moon, the moon can talk about illusions and, you know, it's Piscean energy. It's like dreamy illusions. So I don't know if somebody is trying to reach you through the dream state or if somebody is in, a, in an illusion about a relationship, about a connection here. But let's just see. Holy Spirit, thank you for these messages. Please let me know what else the collective needs to know in regard to this situation. <clears throat> let's see here. We have here the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So there could be three specific people that are, I don't know, either they wanted to come towards you, they wanted to collaborate with you, they want to celebrate with you. But I'm not sure if these people have the best intentions. Like some, or these could be three people teaming up against you in some way. This, let's see. These people could come together and drink. Yeah, somebody here could be holding back information. Just holding back from you. Somebody is intentionally holding back from you. Okay, this could be a friend group. This could be a family. We also have here the Four of Cups. So maybe you were a part of this opportunity. Somebody, no, you were a part of this group. But somebody is sending an opportunity to you, but you didn't want it. Maybe you're still focused on what these people did, these three specific individuals, because as you can see, he's looking at these three cups. Then you have somebody here trying to offer him a cup, but he don't want it. So I'm getting you don't want what these people have to offer here. Yeah, look, the lovers came out again in the two of cups. So I don't know if this has some, I feel like this has something to do with a relationship or a friendship, strong relationship with the lovers being here. Gemini energy is here very strongly. Also, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or Gemini, or this could be the sign of the person or these people. I feel like this person is working with some other people to try to get you to come back because you're holding back from somebody. And I feel like you're not trying to, whatever this person is trying to do, they could be resorting to all types of shit to try to get you to come back. But I just feel like whatever they're doing is not working. They could have even paid people. And everything. Let's see here. Yeah, we have here the two of wands and the knight of cups. Like this person is doing everything to try to get you to take this cup, to take this offer. And they're waiting, like they're waiting. So I don't know if they're waiting for this magic to kick in. Maybe whoever they're working with, like, you know, give it time, it's gonna work. This shit ain't working here. <laughs> it's not. Whatever this person is trying to do, collective, to get you back, if this message is resonating with you, it's not. And I feel like this person, if you do anything online, they're like watching online to see if you're dealing with anybody else. Are you in any other relationship? Yeah, we have here the four swords and the two of swords, but you have blocked this person from your energy. I don't know if this person, I feel like somebody is trying to contact you while you're sleeping and you did something to block this person from your energy here. This person is really like meditating, contemplating, trying how to recover this relationship with you. It's like no, none of the avenues that they're trying to go down is working for them. Yeah, we even look, they doing moon magic. Look, the eight of wands in the in the um moon. This person keep throwing energy your way, trying to come towards you and communicate with you through this moon energy. They they're using new moons, full moons. This could be a Pisces, but I told you that the moon showed up and it's here again. 
like somebody is doing something at night and they're sending this energy your way just send this stuff your way but the shit is not working <laughs> i'm just getting like they hoping that they can get results but they're not getting the results that they want you're holding back your energy i don't know what you're doing but it's working to stop this damn person yeah we have here the sun because you see which what, what they're doing with the sun being here you could be a leo this person could be a leo but it's like you see what this person is trying to do or these people because this could be a group of people or this person is working with a group of people to try to get you to give to this situation again okay but i feel like this person bred from you they chose other people over you and now they have to sit in the energy of watching you not choose them anymore look this emperor energy this could be an aries doing this because this person wants to come back together with you with the four of wands this could be your child's father Baby daddy, <laughs> whatever you should. I'll, I'll be saying the word baby daddy because, you know, that's what everybody say. But I like to say child's father, but shit, baby daddy. <laughs> this person really want to come back. And this emperor, they want to take control of a situation, but it's, but it's not working. The shit that they're doing is not working. I just feel like it's not. Let's see. What is this Three of Pentacles? I'm just going to use this deck to clarify the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Because, and the Lover. So what is this Three of Pentacles here for the collector? Y'all, this video quality is horrible. I apologize. <laughs> but I had to get this message out. And I promised my um baby that he could get on my other phone. So he's on that phone right now that I usually record my videos with. We have here confidence. So I feel like this person was very confident. Well, these people were very confident that what the hell they was doing was going to work out. What is this three of pentacles? <clears throat> mm -hmm. We have here steel. We have here family. And we have here unexpected. I'm telling you, I knew this is somebody in your goddamn family. This is three. These are people in your family collaborating to steal something from you. But I feel like it's unexpected. So they don't, they doing something unexpectedly or they're not expecting that this shit is not going to work. <laughs> like, it's not. Or they could have been, what is this four of pentacles? Yeah, I'm telling you, blocked. High vibrations. Because you vibrate and high, this is what's stopping them from being able to tap into your energy. Because somebody here is either trying to steal your destiny or steal your energy from you or some shit like this. This is people in your family. This shit is sad. What is this, the lover's? What is the lovers? Yeah, we have here social media and spiritual attack. These people try to spiritually attack you on social media. Like they may watch your videos and they probably use your energy from your videos to try to attack you spiritually though. Well, this could be somebody who, like I said, this could be a Gemini or somebody that you were in a relationship that's doing this. And this could be family. So you could have four different people. You could have three people in your family and a lover that's coming for you. I don't know who you are, but you bad to the bone. All these people trying to, whatever you got, honey, that these people want, they ain't going to be able to get it. But you, you a bad mother. What is that? She's a bad mamma jamma or he's a bad mamma jamma. Take it how it resonates. What's this um, four sword? Look, Envy. Not your friend. These people, they they meditating and they trying to contemplate because they just envious of you, whoever you are. What is this eight of wands? Yikes. Look, we have here secret enemies. So you have a lot of secret enemies. This could be up to eight people. These people are sending this negative energy your way because you are artistic, you are articulate. You are an artist of some sort, so you could be in the music industry, you could be a poet, you could um, dance, like anything that's in the field of art is what you do. And I feel like God answers all of your prayers. And these people just sit here and they just, oh, secret enemies. So these are people who you don't even know that these people are envious of you. And I believe this is people that's on social media. Whatever you're doing on social media, they just, ugh. Look, they just watching you upgrade. 
Whatever they even doing is making you upgrade even more. They cannot stop this. They cannot stop what's meant for you here. These people are watching you upgrade. This is the sun. This is what they seeing. And they mad. They envious. They secretly hateful. This eight of wands is these secret enemies. You have up to eight people who are secretly competing with you, envious of you. They don't like you. Just because you're happy, because your life is upgrading, because God answers your prayers, they better start praying then. I don't know what to tell them. Yeah, you have a positive influence on people, and they sit here and they talking behind your back. Or, this could be people talking about you. I'm getting, no, you know what I'm getting? Your name is being mentioned in rooms that you haven't even walked in yet. So you have people who is talking behind your back, but positive things. This is what I'm getting. Not negative things. You got these other people talking behind your back, but you have positive influences on people too. And they're saying good things. They are. You are highly respected. Okay? I feel like a lot of people admire you. Okay? Many people learn from you. You are very wise. Let's get one more. Yeah, and you're going to be wealthy. Okay, because whatever these people trying to do, the spells and stuff, it's going to backfire. And they ain't doing nothing but bringing you more wealth, stability, love, honor, and praises, public recognition. Because they keep trying to steal from you, and it's not going to do nothing but bring you more wealth. Yeah, they're trying to steal your identity, y'all. These people have bad intentions. And you found out, or you're going to find out what these people have been doing. These people that you trusted. These are people that you put your trust in. But they lost. They lost your trust. Okay? They could be losing money. They in competition with you. Because you're royalty. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let's pull some on this lover's energy. Because I really feel like this is somebody that you was in a relationship with. Or somebody that you blocked. Okay? Maybe you didn't want to deal with this person. Maybe somebody tried to talk to you. And you was just like, no, I'm not interested. Now this person mad. Trying to do whatever. Okay? So I'm going to um, leave this lover's energy out and see what this is. <clears throat> what is this lover's energy for the collective here? I think I'm going to do three for each. Yeah, yeah. What is this lover's energy? Yeah, this is somebody who's holding on to you. So this is somebody from your past that you no longer deal with. But this person is still holding on to you. Let's see. We have here hooking up. We have here a Pisces. So I'm getting that you could have hooked up with a Pisces or a Pisces, Pisces wants to hook up with you. Yeah, we have here, I choose you. So this person wants to choose you now. So you have a Pisces here um, that wants to be with you. But I'm getting they want to hook up with you. This could be somebody new. This is somebody that you haven't dealt with. Well, we have here the other woman, fake and found. So this could be a woman here that wants to hook up with you. <laughs> or there's a woman that's around that you could have like a friendship with. Maybe they want to be more than friends. Maybe you don't get down like that. Or this person, you just finding out there's some woman in your life that is very fake and very phony here. So. Let's see here. Tell me more about. Yeah, somebody here may be struggling with their sexuality. Maybe they don't realize that they don't know why they're so attracted to you. Or you could be a man and this could be a woman that's wanting to hook up with you. Wanting you to choose them. So they're choosing you if you're a man here. So just take it how it resonates. What is this um, lover's energy with hooking up, I choose you, and the other woman? Maybe you the other woman. Somebody choose, chose you and they don't like it. So we have here a hand of cards. Take a chance of risk, being strategic options, not showing hand and gambling. So I don't know. Somebody was, this could be sneaky link energy. So somebody here could have, you could have, um had a sneaky link with somebody because maybe you're not ready for a relationship maybe you're not on the same page of as this person <clears throat> or maybe you don't want to hook up 
Maybe you're gonna take a chance. Let me see. Tell me more for this. Oh, yikes. Mm -mm, no the hell you ain't taking a chance on this <laughs> we have here the grim reaper this relationship is over no second chance is grow and transform your life yeah this somebody they gonna come and hook up with you you could be the other woman somebody could already be in a relationship here and they trying to make you the other woman but they pretending that they choosing you with the palm tree you could be an earth sign a taurus capricorn or a virgo this could be what this person is they see you as the tree because the tree is stable, it's fruitful, it's growth, okay? This talks about growth, flexibility, permanent stability. This is what this person wants. But they are a self-absorbed narcissist. This is the only reason why they want to hook up with you. Because they want a piece of what you have here. But this is somebody you're not dealing with. You're still hurt. You're avoiding this person. Because you don't even talk to them. Maybe they chose another woman over you and was hooking up with other people. They took a risk to hook up with somebody else. Now they want to choose you now. No, they chose somebody else over you. And you like, no. You focus on self-love, oneness. You are very attractive. Okay? I feel like you showed this person unconditional love. Like, you probably even gave them several chances. But this person, they just did not... They did not respect your relationship when y'all had it. They didn't... They didn't do none of that. This could be that emperor energy. Yeah, look. We have here, I'm sorry, I know I messed things up. Yeah, you did. It's too late to apologize, though. But I'm telling you, this person coming back because they need money. Somebody here sees you as stable. Okay, secure. And they need money now. Yeah, this person is dealing with family issues and or drama. Or this could be you dealing with these family members. It's drama and shit. And there's a third party involved. I'm telling you, it's so many threes in this reading. You got three or more people, though. Three people in specific that are going against you. Well, this person is still dealing with a third party here. Or trying to make you a third party. Yeah, but this person has a fear of commitment. And they do what they want when they want it, want to. And this is why you don't trust them and you're not trying to deal with them at all. They got the game messed up, honey. Okay? They really do. They tried this. <laughs> Look, I want to be more than friends. So if you friends on somebody then they want to be more than friends or you could have a friend that's a woman so take what resonates y'all because some of y'all got a friend that's a woman that could be um trying to figure out their sexuality they want to be more than friends with you though <laughs> yeah we have here we will be together again so this person feels like y'all gonna be together again but i feel like you're not <laughs> And this is what they think, and I feel like they're working really hard behind the scenes, but the Grim Reaper is here. There's no more second chances. This shit is over because you're healing your heart. You're free from this toxic relationship, okay, or this addiction. This was a karmic relationship here, okay? You let go and you love it yourself. There is no rekindling this with the Phoenix. See, they think they can get a do-over. If they come back, apologize, hook up, they think they're going to get you hooked on them again. And I think it's not. They really want you to change your mind. This is why they're watching you. Okay, they're stalking you. They want to come back and gas like you, like you because you separated from them and they miss your energy. They're constantly thinking about you, constantly watching you. They want to come back and have this passion with you, which is sex. They want to hook up and think that that's going to make things all better. But it's not. They need to look in the mirror here. And that could keep going on and on. Yeah, look, I want you. This person wants you, but they can't have you. And I feel like this is why they try so hard, because they know they can't have you. You know, people want what they can't have. And when they had access to you, they didn't treat you right. And now that they can't have you, now they want to want you so bad. No. Look, this person buried themselves and works to forget you. Mm, they need to work because that's where they need to get their money from. They ain't getting it from you. Look, I'm becoming a better person. Bullshit. And even if you are, I hope you are so you can be better for the next person because I'm done. That's what I'm getting from you. You're done. I'm getting there. You're like, I'm done. I'm not going back to this. They say they love you, though, so whatever. You know, take it how it resonates. And, you know, you can love somebody and don't be with them. 
and this person feels like they have to be with you and it's it's a no they had a chance <laughs> it's over point blank and the period so let's see holy spirit Let's see, what love messages? What do you need the collective to know? Yeah, rejection. <laughs> this rejection is divine protection. Absolutely. So if they rejected you, this was really protection for you. Because this person was full of shit. And if you rejected them, then you know what you was doing. The divine has already spoken. Yeah, we have here, wait. The time is not quite right. See, this person is waiting on you. Waiting. I don't think you're coming, honey. We have here patience. Everything will unfold in divine time. And yeah, this person sits and they wait and see if this little stuff that they're doing, this spell work or whatever, if it's working and it's not. It's not working. I'm going to say that because I feel like it won't. Work. Look, fate. This is a destined partnership. But we have here strictly sexual. This, this was a strict. This is what they want to come back and do. This cat, this connection is passionate but not enduring. This is what that pet, this is what they want to come back and do, and they want to get you hooked because it could be really good in bed. But at the end of the day, you want more than that. You want somebody that is going to, you know, connect with you on a soul level, on a spiritual level, as well as the physical, not just physical. Yeah, you could have a child with this person, and again, passion showed up again. We had passion. When I was flipping the cards too, this person just really, I don't know if they're trying to hook up with you in an astral or something. This person could be trying to get you pregnant. Yeah, this is a past life love. They want to come back and they want to apologize. But again, we have here, does this situation align with your values and morals? No. Because this person could already be involved. Okay, or this could be you already involved. You already learned the spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. And I feel like, honestly, you've already learned this lesson. Okay? You want to take time to get to know someone with Go Slow. Okay? You want to connect with somebody on a soul level, not something that is just strictly sexual. No, you could already be dating someone that you're trying to get to know right now. So, yeah, collective, that's all, okay? I just wanted y'all to get, I was feeling on doing a collective um, reading because I feel like there's some people in your energy. This could be family, past lovers. They keep watching you and stalking you and trying to send this damn energy your way. So, just protect yourself. Stay prayed up, okay, y'all? I love y'all so much. I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.